Namaste. How's it going? As practitioners of Hatha Yoga, it's normal to be caught up with the technicalities of the methods, especially during the beginning stages of the practice. So let's talk about mudras. So mudras could be a conscious or active techniques as they are depicted or prescribed in the books. Yeah, but in the organic sense, they happen without us knowing it's happening. Right. Nabhu Mudra. Yeah. And I've experienced this countless of times. I would just resurface from my samadhi with my tongue lightly touching the surface behind the upper teeth. And in during samadhi, I won't even feel it. It's there. I would just resurface from my experience and it's there. The hands. Yeah. Although during my deep absorption, I would try to yeah, uh, do a yana mudra. Yeah, my mind is doing it, but I would wake up with my hands crooked, <laughs> not even close to the, the yana mudra. Uh, so because when the mudras happen spontaneously, yeah, the energy yeah, magnetizes the nerves, and that's the reaction of the body. Yes, yeah, so it's like a way of making room for the energy flowing through our system. So when you practice the mudras, although the conscious active effort will help you train the body to get used to them, yeah, when you practice meditation, yeah, when there's no active effort involved, just do the mudra gently. Just allow them to go alert, yeah, lightly touching, relax the jaw, and then breathe. Yeah, because that's why we allow the subtle vibrations to manifest. Because once the brain gets involved, we become too physical, we lose it. Yeah. So again, meditation, the autonomic function slows down to their minimum, yeah, so we can allow the subtle vibrations to arise. See you in the next one, and have a lovely day. Namaste.